And welcome to another edition of East LA Sports Scene Productions of the High School Game of the Week. Friday Night Lights here in East Los Angeles, California. Couldn't ask for a better fit than that. And we're going to see a very, very good game, a very competitive game tonight because this is what high school uh, football is all about. Two teams, 1-0, and both in the Eastern League. Game one is in the book. Now it's going to be for what could be considered by many uh, experts here watching Southern California football, high school football. This could be the battle for the Eastern crown because it should be very good to smooth sailing for the winning team because they will just play out the season here in the Eastern League and then hopefully be accountable into the open division or into the division one playoff uh, series that will be coming up after the season. So we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy high school football coming to you right here from the home field of the Garfield Bulldogs as they play host to the Southgate Rams. Again, both teams 1-0 in Eastern League. Overall, though, Southgate comes in with a 4-2 record while the Garfield Bulldogs now looking for the second season here to catch their second win. They come in at 2-4. and four. However, more importantly, 1-0 in the Eastern League. So uh, a good matchup coming your way. Enjoy the game and enjoy our presentation. We will see you for our post-game show at the conclusion of tonight's game. Stand by one, we're coming your way. Hey, here we go, ready for the kickoff. Fasten your seatbelts, enjoy tonight's presentation as Steve Mijares, number 32 for Garfield, kicks it off. And it's gonna be a medium kick taken uh, by Southgate. And he's gonna be brought down. Most tackled there by the Garfield Bulldogs. Looks like a gang of three there in on that initial stop on the return. Uh, we're just underway here, first quarter. Again, a big, big duel here in the Eastern League between the Southgate Rams in white with black pants and, of course, uh, red helmets with the black piping, the Southgate Rams. And we're going to try and set their lineups here for you. Starting the quarterback, number 11, Ernie Arcia. And there is going to be a running play off of uh, just over center left tackle. Uh, number 11, again, that was the quarterback on a keeper. He's a senior, 5'9", 170 pounds. And let's try and get you the rest of the starting line. No huddle offense for head coach Jose Casagran as the Rams are up at the line of scrimmage. And you look over to the coaching staff for guidance here on the call. Meanwhile, the play clock is ticking. And it looks like it's a spread formation, wide receivers. A trip, trips out to the left. And on the right, inter oh, nearly intercepted, nicely timed there. Jalen Lawrence coming in from a safety spot, had a good angle on that pass it was just a little too low but uh, spread offense for Arcia he's a good thrower from what we've understood here learning about backgrounds for some of the players but number 24 will be also back there Carlos Sanchez at running back as will number 22 we'll check that one 22 is Will Lucas number eight is Dondell Finley having a coming off of a big big game last week and there's Arcia Airs it out to his left. Oh, it looks like it was inter it is intercepted. And it's Angel Hidalgo. Picks up blockers down the sideline. Still going. And it's going to be run out of bounds by the offensive lineman in front of the Garfield bench. And first and 10 for the Bulldogs. And Angel Hidalgo read that one nicely. And he just laid in the cut. And the pass was a little overthrown by Arcia. And it could have been intended for one of his favorite receivers. We couldn't pick up the number there. But nonetheless, a big, big turnover here by Southgate. Now, here come the Garfield Bulldogs. And, of course, on their home turf in front of their home audience. In a, ten, num in a quarterback, number 10, Adam Polanco. And there's going to be a flag toss there. By the side judge, looked like there was illegal procedure. And uh, that was a commonly used expression many, many generations ago, illegal procedure. I'm not dating myself, but now it's become uh, another way of being uh, penalizing the offending team. And this time it was the offensive line movement. Back to the action. 
Polanco out of the shotgun. Behind him, running back, number 21, Moses Gonzalez, our co-players of the game last week in the big win over Huntington Park. There's a snap. Belly series, Gonzalez has it. Goes over right tackle, still going. And down just before the goal line, and what it appears is a huge gain. Okay, he's gonna rule a touchdown. Okay, line of scrimmage would call that, uh, what, the 30, check that maybe the 28-yard line, but nonetheless, it's Garfield striking first on, look, call unofficially, 28-yard run by Moses Gonzalez. And let's see now, in for the point after is Mijares puts his foot into it, sails it three deep through this uprights, and it's gonna be wide. So the Bulldogs don't cash in on the point after. So just like that, Garfield is up on the board with the lead, six nothing at 10.43 left in the first quarter. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. Here comes Mijares, puts his foot into it, and sends it deep into the corner. And there's 24 running the back. Oh, he gets really plowed under at the end of that hit. Here's number four, Bruce Gonzalez, along with the special teams, DJ Garcia credit for that tackle. And let's see where the Rams are gonna put it in play. It looks like about the same point in the, compared to the first possession, right around the 35 yard line, second drive of the night. Again, the first drive resulted in a huge interception there for Angel Hidalgo, number nine for Garfield. And Arcia keeps it. Oh, it's sacked. Oh my goodness. In there on the stop, PJ Garcia doing his, a safety blitz in there along with number 15 um, for Garfield, we'll give him credit. We believe that is going to be a Jonathan Espinosa. Okay, no huddle offense, so here comes Southgate, wasting no time and trying to get their offense set. They need to get into that rhythm, trying to see how they rebound from a, a interception and then a, an eventual touchdown. Arcia is gonna air it out to the right. Oh, nearly intercepted. In on double coverage, Lawrence number 13 along with number five. That was a Fabian Montes. No, check it, Abel Martinez. Abel Martinez who broke that up. And Martinez looked like he might have had a shot at intercepting that. Okay. Gonna bring up, let's call a third and about 15. Big play here for Coach Casagran and the Rams. Arcia has it after a bad snap. Has the receiver. Oh, good tackle. Number nine, Hidalgo brought the ankle, put the ankle tackle on. The receiver, that was number eight, Dondell Finley. But it's not gonna be enough for the first down. It's gonna bring up fourth and about four. And let's see if Coach Hernandez will send Jaden Lawrence back as the sole receiver of this Southgate punt, the first punt of the game. Let's see who's gonna be in punt formation, number 17. For Southgate, he's gonna be the punter. That's gonna be Pedro Mendez. Mendez in for the punt. He gets it off, straight down the field, and end over end's gonna favor the Rams. The ball should be killed right there at about the 35 yard line. It's gonna bring a first and 10 for the Garfield Bulldogs. And let's see how Coach Hernandez sends his offensive unit out. We do understand there may be one or two players that are not going to participate tonight, possibly due to some injuries, but Angel Reyes may be one of those players. And we'll set the offensive line here for you. The offensive lineup, 52, Jesse Cortez, 57, Martin Romero, number 53, uh, Victor Villasenor, he's the center. Number 62, David Robles. Number 58, Eder Martinez. And then at quarterback, Adam Polanco, Moses Gonzalez, Angel Hidalgo, number nine at wide receiver. 13, Jalen Lawrence, 
as well as number one, P.J. Garcia. Starting lineups for the Garfield Bulldogs. And there is a pass out here in the flat area. Completed. It's going to be good for a short gain, maybe about five yards. On the, on the play there. So Polanco coming off a very, very good uh, game from last week in, up in beating uh, Huntington Park. He threw for over 100 yards and also on the ground was very efficient with the 100 plus yard rushing as well. Okay, audible change. Gonzalez is the eye back. And the carry is to, there he goes again. Gonzalez still on his feet, ripping yardage off down past the 50 yard line, down to the 30, call it 35 yard line of Southgate. Gate being holes there on the right side. Martinez along with Robles and Villasenor pulling and executing their box correctly and just making way for a gigantic hole. Moses Gonzalez also had a big game last week with over 125 yards rushing. Bulldogs on the march here. Big, big contest here again for the Eastern League. Both teams coming in undefeated at 1-0. And here comes Polanco on the keeper. Reverse option. And then brought down there. Number 58 will give him credit for Southgate, one of the players in on that stop. And again, Garfield back up to the line of scrimmage. Lots of quick momentum going both ways from Southgate and for Garfield. Same formation. There's a spot check back to the bench. There's the audible. You see that now by Bolanco dropping back. Has a receiver. Good step inside. If, um, misses, makes a tackler miss him. And we'll give credit there on that catch to number seven. That was a Thomas Serrano. And it's going to be enough for a first down. Just short yardage, so down and out. Quick look to the sideline. And Bulldogs now have momentum going their way here. Still in the first quarter, clock running, let's call it 6.51 left in the period. 12 four-minute quarters make up high school football. Bulldogs on the march here. And again, there goes P.J. Garcia untouched into the end zone. Oh, my goodness. Let's give him a 19-yard burst. Oh, off of the quarterback option series. And... There we go with another touchdown here. Garfield just putting it into overdrive quickly. And that comes with 6.33 left in the first quarter. So two possessions, two touchdowns for the Bulldogs as they now make the score 12-0. Good ball handling, faking there by... The quarterback and all the players on that unit. Pitch. Gonzalez tries to get through. Let's see, did he make it? Yes, two-point conversion, good. <laughs> Moses Gonzalez adds on to the lead to make it a 14-0. This is East LA Sports Scene Productions covering Garfield and Southgate in the LA City School section Eastern League matchup. We'll be back in a moment. Third time now, Mijares approaches the ball for the kickoff. And let's see who's back there again. It's going to be a medium kick. Southgate's going to run from right to left. And 24's got some blockers. Still up on his feet, down to the 40, 35, 30. And then number seven, Serrano, off of the special teams, rides him out of bounds here at the 35 yard line. So give credit to number 24 for Southgate. As he ran that back very nicely, got some good blocks. And that was Carlos Sanchez, number 24. So a good run back in Southgate. Has excellent field position here. First and 10, let's call it from the 33 yard line. Arcia is at quarterback, number 11. 
And he's got Sanchez in motion. Pass out there, it's a bubble screen to Sanchez. Oh, good tackle there. Hit both high and low by the Bulldogs. He's gonna pick up some yardage on the screen pass. And it's gonna bring up second and four. Clock moving with just about six minutes even left in the first quarter. Okay. They're in formation. Arcia dropping back. Looks to his right. Oh, he's got his receiver. Oh, then hit after one, maybe two steps. And then got blasted by Abel Martinez. And he'll lose a yard on that completion. So Bulldog showing a Quite a bit of stamina here on defense as they carry now themselves into the seventh game of the season. We are now in week number eight of the high school game of the week brought to you by East LA Sports Scene and East LA Sports Scene Productions. Here we go now. RC is looking for Findlay. He's got, a, got him there in the corner, but he's brought down nicely. Good wrap up tackle there by Hidalgo. Let's see, does he have enough for the first down? Looks like it's close enough. And let's see what uh, the referees are going to do. Four minutes in, let's call it 38 seconds left. Okay, they're going to go for it. Obviously, they're in good field position. Fourth, and let's call it two and a half. Garcia dropping back, looking to his right. He's got a receiver right there. Good break. And a good sidestep there. Number 22. Give him credit for making that play, making that first down. That was a William Lucas. First and 10. Now on the Garfield, let's call it 15-yard line. Inside the red zone for the first time. Our coach, Jose Casagrande's offensive unit. Spread offense. Arcia looking in the corner. Look out. Possibly intercepted. There it is, another interception. And the referee on that play there calls it an interception. So, unfortunately, on the third drive of the game, it results in the same as the first drive uh, with an interception. But this time it was, it'll was it hurt more because the bull, uh, Rams were threatening. They were going towards the goal line. And just unfortunate that they could not maintain possession. But the Bulldog defense, as we mentioned, they're standing stout, tall and proud here. Let's see what um, Polanco is going to do now. Back in controls. Dropping back. Airing it out deep. Looks like he has two receivers out there. Oh, beautifully caught. 30, 20, 10, 5. Oh, my goodness. Jalen Lawrence. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown. Let's give it unofficially a 70-yard reception. As he was hit in stride, unbelievably thrown downfield. And Jalen Lawrence, all he needed to do was look it into his hands. And there it was, a big bomb delivered by Polanco. No flags on the field. And we've basically seen a very, very well-played offensive uh, game here by both teams, predominantly though by the Bulldogs as they've been free to perform without the, the weight of penalties being assessed to them. Steve, Steve Mihart is going for his second attempt and this one is good. So, with let's call it 3.54 left, Garfield Bulldogs lead it now, 21-0. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Ready to go. And here comes Mijares again for his fourth kickoff. The first to open the game and the last three have been all because of touchdowns. Like just lightning and thunder broken out here with Garfield. Now 21-0 over Southgate. 
And we're still in the first quarter of play. Here comes Mijares approaching the kick. And it's going to be taken again in the same location. Oh, there is, looks like it might have been a horse collar tackle. Let's see if there's a flag on the play. But number 22, give him credit. That was William Lucas. He got tackled kind of high there on that return. But the official did not throw a flag. So they're going to give him first and 10. It's roughly... At about, let's call it the 25-yard line. Again, we say everything unofficial because our vantage point here is not that high. We're at the 50-yard line on the visiting side here with Southgate. As, of course, you can hear from uh, the proximity, they're right just beneath our camera and our press box here at, South, at Garfield. Oh, completion on a quick look in. Lucas, the re receiver, got hit and then dropped forward, fell forward for a couple of more yards. Hope you're enjoying tonight's presentation of East LA Sports Scene's High School Game of the Week, week number eight. Let's give you some more of Southgate's players here, trying to get our starting lineup sheet for you. Here's Arcia. Handoff. Oh, he's uh, a combination of falling to the turf and then being tackled. Okay, let's set the front four here for you for the Garfield Bulldogs as well. Got to give them, give their names here for you, and we'll bring that to you in just a moment. However, now it's Southgate. Clock moving now with 2.40 left in the first period. Arcia dropping back. Uh, flushed out of the pocket. Here he comes towards us here. Side steps, two or three tacklers. And then finally, number 15 finishes him off. And that was Jonathan Espinosa. Espinosa is a 5'9 senior going into 150 pounds. And that's going to be enough for a first down. First and 10 for Southgate. Again, clock moving. Two minutes and 20 seconds left. Bulldog just exploding out of the gate with 21 points. Three possessions, three touchdowns, and on the last touchdown, it was a classic storybook play that was a beautifully thrown pass and then or catch and run. And there's Arcia. Oh, he gets racked up. The more he struggled, the more Garfield tacklers came in to put him down. Moses Gonzalez in there. Nick Delgadillo also in there. Gonzalez 21, Delgadillo is number 28. Again, no huddle offense. Okay, here comes the play now. Out of the shotgun, wide receivers on the right and left as well. Hand off to Sanchez. Oh, got hit once, twice. And then finally gang tackled. Garcia along with Hidalgo missed their tackle. Due to a good move there by Sanchez, he sidestepped and got a hand on the runner, but not enough with force to bring him down. One minute and four seconds left in the first period. Number 11, a quarterback is Arcia, man in motion. Arcia looking to his right. He's got some protection. Has a receiver. Lucas right in the middle. Broke a tackle. Still going. And then Lopez, Delgadillo, and company wrap him up. And it's enough for a first down. So Lucas was the intended receiver. He went upfield and then just hung around in the slot there near the hash mark and was uncovered. Garfield showing some zone coverage on that play. And that Arcia and found his receiver good enough for a first down. We'll call it first and 10 from, let's say, the uh, 47. Arcia at quarterback, Ernie, his first name, has it, looks left, has the receiver, Finley, struggling, and he gets 
close enough to, or it is more than enough for a first down. And the drive again now gets into motion here by the Rams. And that should be the last play of the first quarter. They're going to change uh, sides of the field here. And the Southgate Rams will be going now from our right to our left. And there it is. There's the sound of the first period of play. With a score reading, Garfield 21, Southgate 0. We'll be back in a moment with more of East LA Sports East High School Game of the Week. Okay, we're back to the action now. Here come the Rams. Arcia, oh, underthrown there, intended for number 24. That was a, Carlos Sanchez is a running back. And current standings in the Eastern League. We'll review those real quick here. Tied for first going into this game, Southgate along with Garfield. And we have also Southeast undefeated with six teams leagues. Um, there are three are, un, are undefeated, three are with one loss. We'll give you those in a moment. Here, the next play. Uh-oh, penalty. Sounds like a penalty coming. Oh, check that. Garfield calling a timeout. And with that timeout, we step aside and come back after the break and we'll give you more play by play. This is East LA Sports Scene. Here we go now back to the action after the timeout. Southgate with the ball on a drive here. Arce, Arcea, check that. He has a receiver. Still going. Then he's knocked out of bounds. Arcea connecting with his uh, running back, Deontay, Deontay Jenkins. Deontay J Jenkins, D-I-O-N-T-A-I, -I. Jenkins, number one, cornerback and wide receiver. The Rams look over here to Coach Casagran and their coaching staff. You see them all looking this way, just as many of the teams out of all major Division I conferences do now. Arcia dropping back, looks to his left. He's got Sanchez. Oh, no, he's tackled nicely. Give him credit for the stop. Number two, David Regosa. Yeah, let's see, now it's gonna bring up uh, second. Second and 10 here from, let's call it the, we can't really get a good angle on this. Let's call it 28 unofficially. Arcia looking to his right. He's got a receiver flat, he's open. And he's gonna be taken out of bounds there. Number five in on a stop, Abel Martinez. But give credit to Don Dale Finley, number eight for the reception, as now we see the Rams sustaining their momentum this time. And uh, this is a good sign here for Coach Casagran and his team because they're maintaining possession and sustaining the drive. They've turned the ball over two out of their three first possessions via the interception. Sanchez in the backfield. Arcia keeps it, trying straight up the middle. And he's gonna be stopped short. Let's see who gets up off last of the pile. 55 down there, Miguel Ortiz. No, oh, check that, that's Anthony Rubalcava. We stand corrected. Ruval Cava. Okay, second and goal for the Rams. Knocking on the door of opportunity. Split out to the right is Lucas. Second inside man there is Jenkins, number one. Arcia throws it deep into the end zone. Reset, intercepted again. No, oh, number 13 comes up with it. Jalen Lawrence showing his skills on defense. He's going to get credit for a pick. Well, check that. Okay, pass is ruled incomplete. Okay, must have been batted down there. We stand corrected. Third and goal here for the Rams. Excellent coverage on the last play by Lawrence deep in the end zone. Arcia pitches, Sanchez on a sweep, still on his feet. Oh, good tackle. Here comes a snap. Arcia, uh, he's got his receiver. And that is number 22. Give him credit for down and in. Runs a post pattern. 
And now it's William Lucas. The Rams finally get up on the board here in this drive. And they're going for a point after. And let's see if number 17, that's Mendez, in for the try. Pedro's first name. Snap, placement, kick. It looks good, and it is good. Okay, with that score, we will now check the scoreboard, and it reads 21-7 to in favor of the Garfield Bulldogs. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, no worries. Okay, here we go now. Set to kick off are the Southgate Rams. And it's Reyes. Check that. Mendez. Pedro Mendez, number 17, ready to approach. Deep to receiver, Lawrence and Garcia. The ball's going to be kicked out of bounds. There goes a flag there. That'll be an infraction for kicking the ball out of bounds. And let's see, Garfield has the option of accepting that and putting the ball in play at their own 35-yard line. Let's see what Coach Hernandez will do here. Okay, ball game is far from over, but there's been a lot of excitement here coming from the Garfield offense. They've just been on fire. Three for three with possessions, all resulting in touchdowns. And Coach Hernandez sends his offensive unit back out onto the field. Bolanco at quarterback. Behind him, Moses Gonzalez. Okay, breaks up the snap count, looks over to Coach Hernandez for the play. Here comes the call now. There's a snap, dropping back, looking out, of, flushed out of the pocket, still going. And a host of tacklers then run him down. Let's give credit to number two there, Vicente Olivares, along with Chris Flores. And the Bulldogs showing their no huddle offense. Slot players, receivers out here to the right, three of them. Spread offense. Here comes the snap. There it is. Belly series fake, it gives to Gonzalez. And he's met there. Coming off the bottom of that pile, Chris Flores. Good stop in there. Chris Flores, a middle linebacker, is a junior, 5'11", 202 pounds. It's going to bring up third and five. Bulldogs stained very, very, uh, how would you call it, on the ground here in this particular drive. But when you have the great arm of Adam Polanco, anything can happen from short, medium to long. Polanco dropping back. Look out. Escape the tackler, still going, trying to get to the sideline. And then tackled. Oh, he did his best to get out of the grasp of many tacklers. But finally, Sanchez in there to finish him off and bring him down. It's going to bring him fourth and call it five. No gain on the play. Clock moving with seven minutes and 20 seconds left in the first half of play. This is East LA Sports Scene's high school game of the week. Garfield with the ball now versus Southgate. Check that fourth and five. Back to punt. Looks like it's Angel Hidalgo, number nine. He waits a second. And he gets a good lift on the ball, end over end, fields it there at about the 25-yard line. Some daylight. Look out for blockers. Oh, good tripped up tack, tripping the tackler up there. That was number 15, Jonathan uh, Espinosa. Good special teams tackle there. Uh, here comes Southgate now, putting their offensive unit back on the field. Give you some of the offensive linemen here for Southgate. Isaac Islas, number 56. He's one of them. And Chris Rodriguez, number 58. David Lee. 
And those are a few of the runner uh, linemen. Okay, play moving over here off the left side, and it's going to be Arcia keeping it. In on the stop, Gonzalez in that area, along with Hidalgo. Very active uh, from his uh, safety position is, and the corner position is Hidalgo. Brings up second and four. RC at quarterback number 11 has it. Watch out for this pitch. There he goes to Sanchez. Oh, P.J. Garcia had him, slipped the tackle. Oh, from behind, he just shed the tackle of Garcia and then moved forward. Kept his momentum and got it. Looks like he got enough for the first down. And let's see, the clock uh, is stopped here with 6.04, and there's been a flag thrown. And let's see, uh, it's going to go against, at this point, it looks like it's going to be assessed against Southgate. Let's see our, our referee in the white hat. The signal he's going to give, we'll see it in a second here, but he's going to head over to the sideline. Okay, it was just out of our vision. We couldn't actually see this, the signal. But nonetheless, it will be going against the Rams. It's going to be a major penalty. Set them back 15 yards. Score on the field now, 21-7 in favor of the Garfield Bulldogs over the Southgate Rams. Second and one here for the Rams. Pass thrown, incomplete. Good coverage there by Hidalgo. First name, Angel. And he's a senior. Out on, he was out on the injured list for several games, but came back last week with, against Huntington Park, as did Adam Polanco. And it seems like both of those players are finding uh, their old selves, so to speak, coming back from injuries and now being fully cleared and restored back to health, helping their team here to this big advantage. Arcia back, throws it in the flat. He's got his receiver open here. Number one, that's Deontay Jenkins, and he manages to carry tacklers down further down the field, and then at the end of that play, a flag is tossed. He was clearly out of bounds, but Garfield tacklers were still on him, so let's see how the penalty is going to be assessed. Side judge tossed the flag. There goes the referee in the white hat. Let's keep our eye on him. Rules, it looked like... Um, Unofficially, from our perspective, he might have given a face mask infraction against Garfield, and that's going to be a major, major penalty, and it's going to give the Rams excellent field position here as they're driving in almost inside the red zone here of Garfield. Ball's going to be spotted inside the 20 yard line Arcia looking to his right has a receiver oh and then leveled right after the catch Hidalgo or could excuse me might have been if not if not Hidalgo that was Julian Lopez strong safety he's a senior he came up and just finished off the receiver there Looked like that was Dondell Finley. Arcia to Sanchez, over right tackle. Hit. And then stopped. Gonzalez in on the tackle. And the front four for the Garfield Bulldogs, we need to make mention of them as well right now. And we have Martin Romero, 57. Anthony Rubalcava, 55. And then, uh, let's see, Adriel Gutierrez and... Let's see, uh, Jonathan Espinosa is in there right now. P.J. Garcia, Angel Hidalgo, Abel Martinez, Jalen Lawrence. And we'll also see Bruce Gonzalez at safety. Nick Delgadillo as well. So those are the, some of the starters there on defense for the Bulldogs. There's a the snap. Arcia looking, run out of the pocket, and then dropped. One of the first men in on the stop, David Regosa, number two for the Bulldogs. Clock is moving now with four minutes and 25 seconds. Ball spotted at the 15-yard line. 
First and 10 for the Rams. Trying to mount back-to-back -back drives here. The first one wins was resulted in a score. The second one, they're on the verge of scoring. They're threatening again for a score. Arcia back with Sanchez, number 24, is running back. Fake Arcia on option. He's got cut. He's got some opening. Yes, looks like he's going to be in for the touchdown. We're looking for that signal, and it is a touchdown. Arcia on a keeper, and that pulls Southgate closer to the Bulldogs, and the score comes with 351. And here comes a point after Mendez in. Snap, kick, he's got enough length to it, and it's good. And just like that, here come the Southgate Rams, down 21-0, they pulled to 21-14 to here in the second quarter. So we'll be back after the, for the kickoff in just a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Whistle sounded, we're ready for action again. Here we go. Number 17, ready to kick off for Southgate, Pedro Mendez, he's a senior, goes 5'8". Here's the kickoff. It's angling over towards number one. That's P.J. Garcia. He's got it on the fly. Still going. And he's going to be wrapped up there. Gang tackle by the Rams. And one of the first men in there to stop you, number two, Vicente Olivares, along with Jeffrey Alberto. But it's good field position here for the Garfield Bulldogs. Going to be first and ten. Uh, roughly, let's call it from their 30-yard line. Check that 34-yard line. And uh, here come the Bulldogs out now. Polanco. And uh, along with Moses Gonzalez as his running back. White outs here to the right, number eight, Adam De La Torre. And out to the left. Three wide receivers, Lawrence is number 13, the farthest out from the ball. There's a handoff to Gonzalez, finds the opening down to the 50, 40, look out, it's a foot race, 30, 20, and then from behind, oh, number eight, Dondell Finley caused a fumble on the run back, oh my goodness. They're still going, a lot of confusion on that play, but my goodness. Dondell Finley was sprinting after Gonzalez, who looked like he was set to score. However, it came up with a tremendous from, from behind tackle, and the ball popped loose, and then Southgate jumped on it. And then it was a little confusing about what was the result of that play. Was, looks like a penalty was thrown for sure on the run back, and let's see what the referee is going to rule here. But a big difference maker there on a tackle, open field, with a come from behind, behind the back tackle there by Dondell Finley. And let's see what the ruling is. Let's keep our eye on the officials there. They're in consultation. Unsportsmanlike conduct. And let's see how they're going to mark it off. It looks like it might have been a block from behind on the return. So the interception is going to stand. And the defensive unit for Garfield has come out. And now they're going to mark it off there from the, let's call it the 25-yard line. Here comes the mark off on the penalty. Looks like at least it's half the distance to the goal. Ball maybe marked at about the 10. Okay, difficult to get that right angle, but it looks like it's at about the 10 or 11 yard line. It's gonna be Southgate ball here, but a huge touchdown saving play there by Dondell Finley, who raced from his cornerback spot, safety spot, and caught up to Gonzalez. We've got to call it roughly at about the 10, maybe five yard line. The ball popped loose on the tackle. 
And now, as a result, Southgate's ball. So on the run back there was definitely a penalty. But Southgate will be, gladly settle for possession of the ball here. Arcia at quarterback looks over to his coaching staff for a play call. And now they're going to stop play here. Let's see what the call will be. Okay, one of the referees did not have his uh, penalty flag in his pocket, so they took care of that, and now he's set to go. So it looks like there was another mark off there against Southgate. So delay of game. Penalized with five yards. Matt marched off against him. Score 21-14. Three minutes and 20 seconds left in the first half. Arcia looking to his left. He's going to air it out. He's got a receiver, Finley. And does he receive it? Does he catch it? No, incomplete. Lost it on the roll when he hit the ground. But Arcia and Finley, dangerous combination. He threw it into coverage where Hidalgo was in the vicinity along with P.J. Garcia. And they did just enough to air it out, to break it up, because the ball was aired out nicely. And Finley using his height advantage. Looks like he's about 6'3 in height. And slender as a receiver, maybe 185 at the most. But was in a good position to catch it because of his leaping ability. We saw it there. All in full, right in front of our cameras. A great shot here. And there's Arcia, dropping back, looks to a flat. Ball almost stripped out of the receiver's hands. And Regosa in on the stop. And give coverage, also covering there, number 57. That was uh, Jonathan Torres for Garfield. And it's going to bring up, let's call it third and about 13 here for the Rams. In motion is Sanchez and Arcia. Looks like he kept it on quarterback option right. And getting up a little slowly there, but he's okay. And it's going to bring a fourth and long here for the Rams. They're going to. Okay, it's going to be a timeout taken here on the field, and we'll be back in a moment with more coverage of high school game of the week. This is the Silly Sports Scene. Okay, timeout was taken by Garfield to talk things over here because it's a fourth down play. Huge play for Garfield on the receiving side. And Southgate with Mendez need to punt that ball as deep as possible. Here it goes. Shallow kick is going to hit it about this call at the 40-yard line and then comes back for a Southgate bounce. But it's going to be in Southgate territory. So give him a net of about 25 yards on the kick. And it's going to be first and 10 with excellent field position here for the Garfield Bulldogs. And Coach Hernandez will send out his offensive unit here with the idea in mind to put six more, maybe seven more points up on the board to give themselves a little more breathing room. Having jumped out to a 21-0 lead, they've now seen Southgate rally back and score two touchdowns themselves. So they trail, or they lead now, 21-14. Polanco at quarterback with Gonzalez as his running back. Hand off to Gonzalez straight up. And this time he's holding on tighter and tighter to the ball to avoid any fumbles. Lucia Rodriguez, number 10, give him credit for one of the uh, for one of the tacklers on that play. And a gain of two, second and eight for the Bulldogs. Clock moving. Hidalgo in the slot, along with Thomas Serrano, number seven, out here on the right. Option, pitch. Gonzalez. Oh, slipped a block, slipped a tackler, but then can get brought down. Strong tackle in there. Uh, 
Let's see. Give credit to number. I'm going to give to number six for Garf, uh, for Southgate, Chris Flores. He's been down on a lot of stops there for the Rams. Let's call it third and two. Gain of six for Gonzalez on the option carry or pitch. Toss right, as they would say in football terminology. Third and short yardage for the Bulldogs. Flankers left. Uh, here he is. Look out. Polanco's going to maybe hit it. The, throws it. And the reception there. Hidalgo. First and ten. A good hook up there from uh, Polanco to his wide receiver, Angel Hidalgo. It's going to be a first down. And the ball will be sparted. Let's call it just outside of the 20, the 23-yard line. Clock moving with just one minute left in the, the half. Polanco gives it to oh, go, Gonzalez again. Straight up, down to the five. Maybe is he in? Let's see. Moses Gonzalez rips off a touchdown from 22 yards. This time he made sure he secured the package. It comes with 53 se seconds left in the period, in the half. An unofficially 22-yard run to number 21, Moses Gonzalez. And that will give uh, Garfield the score at 20, let's call it 27 to 14. Here comes a point after try. Mijares with Hidalgo the holder. Every play is an important play. Snap, placement, kick, looks good. It is good. So Mijares makes the PAT and that moves the score now. Garfield Bulldogs 28, Southgate Rams 14. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, here we go now. Mijares, ready to kick off. Back to receive for the Rams. Lucas. And there is Sanchez, taking it deep at about his five yard line. He's gonna try and get out to his, to his left here, heading toward his own bench. And then, Riddle driven out of bounds there by Gonzalez. And the special teams. It's going to be first and ten here, roughly from let's call it the 30 yard line. There's a flag tossed on the play on the run back for special teams. Uh, let's check our referee in the white hat. Could be a, a block in the back infraction committed by Southgate on the return. Oh, it's going to be against Garfield. Oh, maybe an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty because of the location where the runner got hit. Okay, so that's going to bring up first and 10 from their own 45-yard line. So the beneficiaries of uh, another penalty, major penalty, this time against Garfield. And it comes with just 44 seconds left in the half. Now timeout be taken by Garfield. Coach Hernandez and his defensive coordinator is going to talk things over. We'll be back after the timeout. This is East LA Sports hey, Team. Whistles sounded the teams and report back for duty. Here they go now. 44 seconds left. Southgate in good field position here at their own 45-yard line. Arcia fakes a handoff. Looking downfield, scampering to his right. And trying to head out of bounds to stop the clock, picking up enough for the first down. And here goes another flag. We just saw that one tossed right in front of the Garfield bench. And we're going to need our binoculars to really to find out what happened at the end of that play. Looks like it's going to go against Garfield again for unnecessary roughness. So Garfield hurting themselves here. Giving uh, Southgate Rams lots and lots of real estate on the positive side of their ledger, moving down the field very rapidly due to penalties. Clock stopped with 32 seconds left. Score on the board reads 
Garfield 28, Southgate 14 in a crucial Eastern League matchup here. Both teams coming in 1 and 0, or 1 and 0. Oh. And every game is an important game, especially if you play at home, you're expected to really protect your home turf. RC at quarterback, number 11. Sanchez is running back to the left. Here comes Arcia looking left in the flat. And it looks like it's incomplete. Incomplete pass, or you couldn't really tell. Bad angle here with some of the band members blocking our, our, our vision. And it happened right there in front of the South Gate bench. Ball's on the 35-yard line, second and 10, so in incomplete pass by Arcia on that last rollout. Okay, Sanchez right next to him now. Bullet pass to his receiver, and he's run out. That was number 22, William Lucas, recipient of that cat, uh, play. Looks like another flag. And we see the referee in the white hat indicating Okay. Okay, looks like they're going to withdraw the penalty flag. And play will move on now. Third and one for Southgate. Arcia looks left. Has receivers, and he's wrapped up there. Nicely, number nine, Hidalgo, comes up from his cornerback spot and Puts the hit on the receiver, and he comes up a little slow. Looks like he might have got hit on his right side, I'm trying to get his number. Uh, look, he's holding his arm. Can't tell whether that was number two or three. And it looks like they're going to attend to him right now. There goes the referee in the white hat. And he's a stoppage of play on the field. We'll be back in a, t in a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, now it's a question of the time. Just with 16 seconds left in the half, Southgate knocking on the door again, looking to score, bring things closer. Oh, the ball looks like it was batted down there. Number six in on that play there for the Bulldogs. Give him credit for helping out on defense. That was Julian Lopez, had his, got his hand up there. Clock stopped with just, let's call it, it was 13 seconds left in the half. Big play here for Coach Casagran and the Southgate Rams. They'd like to go in with the score being 21, or 28 to 21, but here it is. The truth of the matter, here it is, Arcia gives it to Sanchez, trying to sweep around left end. Got hit once, twice. And let's see, is he in or out? Can't tell where he's run out of bounds, but looks close to the goal line with just six seconds left. And another timeout's gonna be taken. We'll be back after the timeout. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, here's a whistle for the start of, could be the final play of the half. The ball's marked at the two yard line. Arcia with Sanchez. Looks like a blitz. Oh, and Arcia finds a receiver. Oh, he just snuck into the end zone. Oh, my goodness, looked like the tight end. And number 10, give him credit for the touchdown, Lucio Rodriguez. And a sleight of hand gadget play there by the Rams. Pays off in big, big benefits and big dividends here with a touchdown coming at just three seconds left in the half. So a gadget play there, brings Southgate. 28 to 20, here comes a point after now. There's a placement, the kick is up, length is good, and it's good. We have ourselves a very close ball game after that's predicted. And that will do it for the first half of play here with a score. Oh, check that. 
three seconds left. There will be a kickoff. We'll be back in a moment. This is East LA Sports Team. Okay, there's the sound of the whistle to resume play. And after a huge call there by Coach Casa Gran. And it's a touchdown. And here's the kickoff now with just three seconds left. And it will run. Clock will run out after this play here. P.J. Garcia still going. And comes up with a nice return brought down there by number 44 for Southgate. That will be the last play of the first half. Give credit to Francisco De La Rosa, special teams to Southgate. So both teams go to the locker, and we'll step aside for the intermission here. You're watching East LA Sports Scene Productions of the High School Game of the Week, Garfield versus Southgate. Okay, welcome back. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, sports fans, followers of East LA Sports Scenes, High School Game of the Week. Here we are now, third quarter kickoff, and this is going to be Southgate on our right, kicking off to the home team, the Garfield Bulldogs, and there is number 17, Pedro Mendez, set to approach his kickoff, and let's see, wait a minute. Okay, the ball mysteriously fell off the kicking tee. So here he goes. He's teed it back up. He's ready to go. And we have a score here of 28 to 21. And Southgate Rams very confident now after they put the third score of the game up just before the half ended. So here it is now. Third quarter, P.J. Garcia with the kickoff return. Still running and then finally wrapped up by number 10, that's Lucio Rodriguez on special teams, but give credit to Rodriguez for catching a two-yard touchdown pass on a sleight of hand or gadget play that Coach Casagran used to his advantage and pulled the Rams just to within seven points. Now, they were trailing 28 to 14, but that last uh, second score, there were three seconds left in the half, brought them up to 28-21. Now, here we go now for the third quarter, second half of play, the Garfield Bulldogs in possession here. Adam Polanco at quarterback, along with his running back in the I formation, that's Moses Gonzalez. Oh, referee on the sideline will toss his flag for encroachment against Southgate. It should bring up first and five here for the Bulldogs. Just recapping briefly the summary of the first half. It was an explosion out of the gate by Garfield. They went up 21-0. And then slowly but surely, the Rams caught, caught fire themselves and went up to, were losing 21-7, 21-14. And uh, brought themselves back in to the game with the final score in the second quarter, just before half. Okay, Garfield Bulldogs, first play from scrimmage. Moses Gonzalez gets the call, and he will move it. Let's see where they spot it. It's enough for a first down. Give them six-yard credit on the carry. First and ten for the Bulldogs. First possession of the second half. Okay, change in the count rhythm. And as you see, Polanco look over to his left at the coaching staff. Sending in the play by signals. Hand off again. Oh, this time no handoffs, and Polanco has it, sprinting, off and still on his feet, broke a tackle at the 40, dragging his tackler down nearly another 20 yards. Adam Polanco showing some outstanding running skills and coming up, uh, kind of limping on the end of that play, Deontay Jenkins for Southgate. But give Adam Polanco another belly series option quarterback as he went to fake to the right to Gonzalez and stuttered and st stepped just for a second there, found a seam in the big, big, big line there from his blockers and then scooted forward for a huge yardage. Bulldogs now at the red zone. Bolanco, Gonzalez over tackle, gets some yardage there. Bulldogs showing some patience here, some persistency here in their offense. 
giving different looks to Southgate. As you see, the snap counts can change when plays come in from the sidelines. Clock running now with 10.30 left in the third quarter. East LA Sports Scene bringing you high school game of the week. Week number eight, Polanco. And belly series again right, and Gonzalez just drilling forward, pounding forward for positive yardage here. Ball's gonna be spotted, let's call it at the, near the 10 yard line, um, rough estimate about the 11 yard line. Or it's first and 10 here. Out of the T formation for the uh, quarterback keepers, Polanco. And keep, he's still going. Like the bunny rabbit, the ever read, <laughs> the commercial, he's still going. And the whistle was not forthcoming and Polanco just kept plowing forward. And his instincts called him to keep moving until the whistle sounded. And it's gonna be second down here. Or it's the first down, yes, first down. Gonzalez over right tackle, BJ, oh, check that, PJ Garcia. Oh, number one, a change of the running back scheme. And we thought it was Gonzalez, but hey, we stand corrected. P.J. Garcia brings it in from about, let's call it the nine-yard line unofficially. And that puts six up on the board here for the Bulldogs. They're glad to take that. And that will move the score up to 34. Score comes with 9.51 left in the third period. So if you're a, a scoring fan and you wanted to see high school football being played and scored, as very best, you're, you're watching a good one tonight here on East LA Sports Scene. Coverage of Garfield versus Southgate, Eastern League LA City CIF section game. Placement, the kick, and it looks good, it is good. So PJ Garcia, credit for the running, rushing touchdown, and then Steve Mijares for the point after. Brings the score now, 35 to 14, 20, no, 35, 21 in favor of Garfield. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. Whistle sounding the start of play. Mijares on the approach, run up, kick, deep, end over end, the sail into the end zone, automatic touchback, the ball will be placed at the 20 yard line for Southgate. And once the ball in high school rules goes into the end zone, no runner is allowed to bring it out. Again, uh, for player safety precautions, that rule has been in effect for quite some time now. First and 10 for the Southgate Rams, led by Ernie Arcia and um, number eight, Dondell Finley, and number 21, check that, 24, Carlos Sanchez. They've been the, the bulwark here of the offense for the Southgate Rams and Coach Jose Casagran. Safeties here for uh, corners for Bulldogs, number nine, Angel uh, Hidalgo. Uh, here comes a running play. It's going to be stacked up there. Delgadillo in on the stop. Ball was given to Sanchez. Delgadillo there for the stop. Along with several of his teammates there on the front four. Also in P.J. Garcia, number one. At front four here, 55 for, for Garfield is uh, Anthony Ruvalcaba. And we have number, let's see, 57 is also in there. Jonathan Torres. Here's the play now. In motion, Sanchez. Arcia keeps it on the option play. And driven down there nicely by P.J. Garcia. First man in on the stop for Garfield. And it looks like it's enough for the first down. Okay, now Jose Casagran sending plays in from the sideline. And there's number eight looking for uh, the play call. That's Dondell Finley. He's electrifying in the open field. He's a great wide receiver. Arcia looks for Dondell Finley. First tackle missed by Hidalgo. And then coming up will be P.J. Garcia to finish off the tackle. 
Great fall night here in the City of Angels. We come to you from East Los Angeles, California, the home of the Garfield Bulldogs, as uh, this is a huge Eastern League matchup. Comes just two games into the league's play, and um, the winner of this game could go on and claim the outright championship should he go win and out. Garcia. Handoff. Sanchez. Oh, he's got a hole. Got a block. Still going. Oh, he's going to run out of bounds here. Toe got on the line here. This is about at the 50-yard line. But Carlos Sanchez, he's a very, very uh, demanding runner. And he gets, he gets his blocks from his front four on the O-line and has enough clearance and finds the seam and is able to turn up field for positive yardage. So good speed there shown by Carlos Sanchez. So Coach Casagrande and his um, offensive coordinator mixing and blending uh, their own brew here for uh, possession in terms of running and uh, receiving. Clock moving now with seven minutes and 30, uh, moving now at 7.34 with the snap. And enough again, oh, look out, Jonathan. Let's call him Espinosa, number 15, in on uh, the stop here. For Garfield Bulldogs, a 5'9 senior, goes 145 pounds, but he's playing much bigger than that. There's no doubt about that. He's in on a lot of stops for the Bulldogs. Again, um, looking at tonight's game, Bulldogs coming off a big win, 48-22 last week over Huntington Park, but Coach Hernandez and all the players will tell you that was in the past. We're now in the present. Here is Arcia now barking out the signal. Has it. Fake handoff. Arcia is going to go out of the pocket, rolling right towards the Garfield sideline. And the Bulldogs roll him out of bounds. But picks up good yardage there. Fake handoff to his running back in the belly series. And then just scampered over right end for good yardage. Third and let's call it three. This time now the Southgate Rams showing a huddle. Six minutes and 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Southgate trying to answer the Garfield Bulldogs ca um, touchdown. Oh, good catch, a good hook up there. And that looked like it was completed to number 22, William Lucas, and he's driven out of bounds by Abel Martinez from his cornerback spot. So the Rams starting their own drive here. And now going back to the no huddle offense, hurry up offense, here come the Southgate Rams trying to keep offensive pressure on the Bulldogs. Oh, busted play, then Arcia has it. Oh, then he's gonna be brought backwards on a tackle, the first man that wrapped him up. Number 50, give him credit for the stop, Adriel Gutierrez, he's a starter. Also on that D-line here for the Bulldogs, uh, Gutierrez, along with Romero, Rubalcava. And then you see also um, the other down line, and then linebackers are also doing their job here on defense. Pass out here to the flat. Oh, intended for number three. That was Nehemiah Bray, incomplete. It's going to be third and ten. Big play there. Again, score reading 35 to 21, a 14 point advantage here for Garfield. Southgate comes out of to the line of scrimmage and pass out here to the left again to Bray. No, check that. That was two, number eight, Dondell Finley. But couldn't break loose on the tackle to gain the first down. It's going to bring up fourth, and let's call it four. The fourth and six, fourth and six. The team looking to the sideline for the offensive coordinator to find a signal on the play that they should run. Ernie Arcia, number 11. Moses, check that, uh, Carlos Sanchez, number 24. Okay, here they come up to the line of scrimmage. Big play for the Bulldog defense. 
There's Garcia. Fake handoff. Throws it over the middle. Oh, pass is intended for Bray. Oh, my goodness. He wants that one back. Nehemiah Bray, 5'9", 170-pound senior, says, I'd like to do that one over, but can't do it. Ball goes over on downs to the Bulldogs. They'll have fairly good field position. Ball should be put in play roughly at about their 30-yard line. The offensive unit comes out again for the Bulldogs. Okay, let's see who's going to be in at quarterback. Uh, let's, there he is, Adam Polanco. Down lineman set. Hand off to Gonzalez, goes over right tackle, driving forward, then piled up on. And in there again, Sanchez along with Flores for Southgate. But Gonzalez probing that right side or through his, his offensive lineman on the right, probing the left side of the Southgate defense. Looks like it's man-to-man -man coverage here by the Southgate Rams. Gonzalez over left tackle this time. He said, let's go to the other side. Oh, look out, the ball got on the field, got loose. And it looks like Southgate has come up with it. Oh my goodness. Big turn of events there. It was a running play, power right, but somebody got stripped. Looks like there was a big hand that got in there. And ripped the ball out of the ball carrier's hands. That's a big break for the Southgate Rams. They're going to take over in good field position here. At the Garfield, let's call it uh, 40, the second, 30. 30 uh, yard line. Good field position for the Rams. Let's see how they do here. Breaking huddle. Here they come. This time, twin backs in the backfield. Sanchez in motion. Fake handoff. Sanchez in flat. He's got it. Then he's wrapped up by number six for Garfield. That's Julian Lopez. So this is the type of game that could go down to the team that commits the least amount of turnovers. And uh, they will kill you every time, depending on the opponent and the opposition who is able to capitalize on those mistakes. But we shall see. Southgate in the huddle. Here comes Sanchez, here comes Bray, number three looking for the exact signal from the coaching staff. Arce, empty backfield for Arce, dropping back, his pass all the way. He's got a receiver in the flat, it's Bray. He's got it, nobody on him. Breaking for the touchdown. Looks like he pranced his way in. Oh, no coverage there in the left corner. And a 30-yard touchdown, just like that. Southgate Rams, they answer on a beautifully thrown and executed play. Coming at, let's call it 224 in the third quarter. So, Arcia, out of the empty backfield set, he had receivers that were uncovered here on the left side, and one of them happened to be Brave. So, Brave has some redemption there when he missed that that post pattern in the previous possession, but now the point after is good. And we have ourselves a good and close ball game now as the score narrows to 35-28 in favor of the Garfield Bulldogs. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, the whistle signals for both teams to be set for the kickoff. Mendez ready to kick off. Back to receive for the Bulldogs. P.J. Garcia on the closest side of the field to us. And then Jalen Lawrence on the far side. Ball's going to be down there by number 11 for the Garfield Bulldogs. Special teams forces in action here for the Bulldogs. A short kick. And again, the Bulldogs come up with great field position. So looking to um, rally up from the, lost, from the fumble on their last possession. Here come the Bulldogs on to the playing field here. Adam Polanco leading his charges here. 
P.J. Garcia in it, a running back, number one. Thomas Serrano, number seven, flanked out to the left along with Angel Hidalgo. Polanco, look out, P.J. Garcia. Ball nearly just lost out of the hands of Polanco. Not in the exact location he wanted it, but he was able to corral it and then hand it off to his running back, but it's going to result Let's see, maybe in a loss of one or two yards. So a miscue there by the Bulldogs. Second and 12 here for Adam Polanco and the Garfield Bulldogs. Receivers on both sides out of the spread offense. Polanco has a man over the middle. Too short. Looked like he had Jaden Lawrence on a crossing pattern. Just a little, well, way underthrown. Actually, Lawrence had no chance of catching that. Clock stops now with 1.44 left in the third quarter. We hope you've enjoy, you're enjoying our presentation here of high school game of the week, East LA Sports Scene Productions. Rico Cabrera, senior, doing the play-by-play. -play. Rico Cabrera, junior, doing all of the videographing. And our special intern crew of, frankly, Robles doing the highlights. And we have a new intern we've added on to our staff. So look out. Raced out of the pocket, goes down. Polanco goes down. There's a fumble. And he turns it over. And now the Rams couldn't enjoy the scenery much better than this now because they have now become beneficiaries of another fumble. So back to back possessions and fumbles for the Bulldogs. Just things not going right here for Coach Hernandez and his team. Just Instead of progression, there's a lot of recession. They're turning the ball over and giving lots of opportunities here to the Southgate Rams. Ball's going to be spotted at the 19-yard line, so look, let's keep our eye on the Southgate offense. Arcia fakes it. Oh, almost sacked. Still running. Throws it deep and then way out of the end zone. Oh, he did the right thing to just lose the ball on an incompletion, but he nearly was sacked. First interior lineman in there. Looked like that was number 50, Adriel Gutierrez, who had him in the grass, but as you saw there briefly, you saw um, Arcia just move, using his strength to move backwards and out of the grasp of the tackler. One thirty-one left in the quarter, third quarter that is. 35-28 is our new score here. Advantage of seven points here just for Garfield. Second and 10 from the 20. Empty backfield again for Arcia. This is how he scored on the last possession. Sanchez in motion. Arcia running out of the pocket. And it looks like is a completion. Yes, a short gainer on the play. Gain of five, maybe six yards. Second and let's call it a three for the Rams. So the aggressive defense for Southgate has turned things around, it's turned the fortunes around for the Southgate Rams and is putting them almost on equal footing with the Bulldogs now in terms of the number of turnovers that have been costly. Arcia along with Sanchez in the backfield. Arcia, quick look in. Oh, and that was to his receiver who scores into, goes into the touchdown, Deontay Jenkins. And a like penalty. Called on that play, we weren't sure here, but it's a touchdown nonetheless. And that comes with just 42 seconds left here in the third quarter. And we're seeing a, a shoot 'em up here tonight in Roosevelt. Check that Garfield versus Southgate. Here comes a point after. And Arcia now connecting on his touchdowns with his receivers. There's a point after, it's up. And it's good. And now we have ourselves a tie ball game at 35-35 and we're only ready to wrap up the third quarter. So one, full, one more full quarter of play, but 
right now it's all tied up and it's just like we're going to kick off for the first time. No scoring in games. But here we are. It's a tie ball game. We'll be back in a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Customary whistle signaling the play should resume. Uh, here comes Mendez ready to tee it up. Okay, we're deadlocked now at 35-35. Coming into the final 42 seconds of the third quarter. Mendez's kick is going straight up the middle this time. And there's Lawrence. He's going to pick it up roughly at about the five. He's looking for a block. Still on his feet. He has one there. Down the sideline. Here he goes trying to evade tacklers. He's going to be brought up and down at about the 50-yard line. Just right in front of our cameras here. So give Jalen Lawrence huge props for a great run back. Unofficially, we looked like he fielded it at the 5-yard line and brought it up maybe 45 yards up to midfield. So excellent field position here for the Garfield Bulldogs. As here comes the offensive unit now. Coach Hernandez has obviously given them the instructions to protect the ball at all times. 29 seconds left here in the third quarter. Bulldogs with the ball. The snap count has been changed here. Okay, due to the, the new play that's been sent in by the coaching staff. Handoff, and it's Polanco going left, over the left tackle, over the left end, still on his feet, and he's going to be near first down. Good option call there, quarterback left. And Adam Polanco certainly has, has been a master at running that play. Clock is moving with just five seconds left. That should have, should do it here for the end of the third period. It'll be... Second and one for the Bulldogs when we resume play here to start the fourth and final quarter. This is East LA Sports Scene's coverage of the high school game of the week. Garfield versus Southgate. 35-35 in an Eastern League matchup. We'll be right back. Okay, here we go now. 12 minutes left in a tied game at 35-35. So there's been plenty of offense and defensive action supplementing each other, complementing each other here in tonight's ball game. So... If you are a, a high school football fan, you've really seen both sides of the game here in very, very good fashion. Okay, here we go now. Adam Polanco, quarterback. Handoff. P.J. Garcia slips through the, the crack there in the line and bolts forward for, let's call it, uh, looks like it's going to be a first down. They move the chains, or the sticks, so to speak. Going to be first and 10 from, let's call it the 35-yard line. Garfield with the ball. Bolanco hands it off to his runner, to his back. Going forward, following his O-line. Give number 62 some credit in there for good blocking schemes there, good blocking angles. Allowing his runners some footage there, some daylight and space. And then he pops through that line. Polanco in front of Gonzalez. That's his running back. Polanco. He's going to keep it. Scampering far right towards the sidelines. He's around the end. Still going. And now with sheer determination, Adam Polanco rips off a big yard. Big gainer, at least a minimum 20 yards is going to be spotted. Let's call it at the 10-yard line. So another first and 10 for the Bulldogs. And again, on the option play, Polanco, good vision, able to read the defense, saw them totally on the other side of the field, and he used his sideline to his advantage. Gonzalez blasting through into the end zone. It's a fullback option, blast, running back, tailback, blast over the right end, right tackle. And let's call it 
10:49 left in the four, in the game. Ten yard blast off right tackle, number 21 Moses Gonzalez. Score now reads Garfield 41, Southgate 35. And point after coming from Steve Mihades. Snap, placement, kick. Has the distance and the angle. And there we go. 42, 35, and Garfield answers right back, putting themselves back in the lead here as we start the fourth, just underway in the fourth and final quarter. We'll be back at, with a kickoff. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, here we go now. Mihat is coming up for the kickoff. It's going to be medium angled over to the sideline. It's going to go out of bounds at about, let's call it the 30, 35 yard line where Southgate will have it. So again, trying to keep the ball away from their speedy kick returners. Ball's going to be put in play here by Southgate. Let's see where they're going to spot that. And let's see, are they going to call it back and redo it? Yes, that seems to be the uh, option that's been given to uh, Southgate. And they'll kick the ball off now from the 35. Okay. So there we see a different variation of that ruling. The ball gets kicked out of bounds. Um, it's a penalty automatically, or then they have the receiving team has the option, I do believe. Okay, here we go. Mihadas again will redo it from the 35. And this time he puts his foot into it. It's going to go deep. And let's see who has this now. And it's Sanchez. Oh, special teams. Where are they? Are they for Garfield? Sanchez. Oh, my goodness. Answers right back with a beautiful kickoff return. Wow. Unofficially, in the length, I would call it about 90 yards. But we don't have the exact location that he caught it at. But Moses Sanchez, check that, Carlos Sanchez. Carlos Sanchez. Wow, what a tremendous run there. Got his blocks in the middle of the field and then just used his pure speed to outdistance the secondary or anyone that's coming after him. And just like that, six points put up on the board as the Southgate Rams answer that touchdown drive by the Garfield Bulldogs. Snap, kick. Oh, it's blocked. Oh. So a point after is blocked by Garfield. And... With that, we have stoppage of play on the field, and we'll be back with the kickoff in a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, there's a whistle now signaling special teams and the kickoffs from Southgate coming to Garfield. Back deep to receive P.J. Garcia, number one, along with number 13, Jalen Lawrence for Garfield. And it's going to head... Deep. Uh, and Garcia gives a lateral here to Lawrence. Lawrence tr looking for room. Goes left, goes right. And now he's on the Jets. Going uh, to his right, still on his feet. Oh, and then it's going to be brought down at about, let's call it the 46-yard line. Beautiful run back there by Jaden Lawrence. And there was a lateral on the play from P.J. Garcia to Jaden Lawrence. And it gives the Bulldogs good field position here. And the clock now on the field reads 10 minutes and 13 seconds left. Huge game here. Only difference is one point favor of the Bulldogs. Polanco. Oh, there's movement here. Thomas, Thomas Serrano, number seven, might have moved as he was a slot receiver as well as Moses Gonzalez. So just jumped the gun for a split second is all it took to cause movement.
Okay, first and 15 for the Bulldogs. Receivers on both sides of the field for Polanco. Lots of targets. Hand off to Gonzalez again, going over the right side, and just lots of room. And he's going to pick up nearly enough for the first down. No flags on the field, so we want to uh, credit the officiating crew tonight to performing at a very, very high level. We have not been burdened with uh, the number of penalties we've seen in the first seven weeks. Tonight's game, basically um, minimum amount of penalty flags that we've seen, which causes, of course, the both, both teams to play much better. Gonzalez again, still going down the right side. And again, big blockbuster yardage. Flag on the play, back and see in the backfield here. And that's the referee in the white hat, the crew chief. He's holding. Oh, check that. It's going to go against uh, the uh, Southgate Rams for roughing the passer, we do believe. Referee in the white hat. Picks up his flag, marches upfield. They march off the penalty now. Major penalty against Southgate. It's going to put Garfield in supreme, um, excellent, uh, can't describe the adjective here, but an excellent field position to continue the drive. But again, started it, all, it all started with Jalen Lawrence coming out with a great kickoff return. Polanco. Oh, P.J. Garcia slipped through the, the, oh, found the seam and continues to drive into the touch for the touchdown. And let's give him credit for a 10-yard scamper over the right tackle. And then got into the secondary, and he was untouched. So that touchdown comes at 9.47. Field. Let's see what Mijadas does with the point after. Every play here critical, even point afters. Here comes a snap, the hold, and that kick is sailing deep, and it's no good. So Garfield does not score on their point after. Now at 48 41 in favor of Garfield. Here we go now. Score reading 48 to 41 in favor of Garfield. Here's a kickoff now. And it's all about special teams because here comes Southgate with Sanchez. Again on a tremendous run back. And then special teams. Thomas Serrano in on the stop there. Okay, it's going to bring up first and 10 for Southgate here. Ball is going to be spotted at, let's call it the 40, 39 yard line. Score on, a, on the scoreboard now, reading 48 41. Lots and lots of scoring activities here tonight on both teams. Arcia over the middle. He's got his wide receiver. And he's in the middle of the field. Number 22. Give him credit on the reception from Arcia. That was William Lucas. He's been very active tonight. A good target for Arcia, picking up big, big chunks of yardage. And also on the other side of the field, Don Drell, Don Dell Finley. So Arcia has two potent wide receivers that he can go to. Okay, the Rams come out quickly from the huddle. Clocks at 9.17 left in the game. Uh, here's Arcia again. And he got pressured, running out of the pocket. And then he'll be wrapped up. Looks like it's Delgadillo there to bring him down. Good pressure, but Arcia using his instincts to, evade, to avoid the rushers. And just did a little loop inside the pocket and then rolled out to his left.
Okay, here we come now. Wide receivers out here to the right. A trio of receivers. Lucas, Bray, and Jenkins on the right for Arcia. Arcia looking to the right, trying to select one of them. Oh, it's overthrown. Coverage there provided by number five, Abel Martinez from Garfield. Clock stops with, let's see, 8.24 left in the contest. Okay. A whistle on the field said, let's resume play to the players, and here we go. Southgate trying to mount a tie, a tying touchdown drive here. Same formation as before in the spread offense for Arcia. He's looking to his right deep. Has a man. Oh, no flag. Good coverage there. And that was a number two. Check that on the from Southgate. It was strictly just a fly pattern going down the sideline. And that pass was intended for Jenkins uh, on the fly pattern. So it bring up fourth and ten. Big play for the Rams. They're going for it. No choice but to go. Big, big play here for the Garfield Bulldogs on defense. Arcia rolling right. Still has it. And then breaks the tackle ball, got on the floor, it's on the fumble. Who's going to recover? Looks like the Bulldogs have it. And Arcia just a little frustrated. He couldn't find the receiver, and he cranked the ball up over his, his head as he was going to throw, and then he got hit on the arm, and that knocked the ball loose on to the ground for a fumble, and the Bulldogs were there to recover. And... Uh, Big, big play there. Ball would have gone to Garfield in either sense of the word here because it was fourth and ten. Now it becomes first and ten from their own 20 for the Garfield Bulldogs. So 48 to 41. And Garfield with the ball deep in, not deep in their own territory, but at their own 20. Polanco. Handoff it goes to P.J. Garcia. Garcia's driving, trying to move forward. But give number 20, Eden Ruano, credit for the tackle on that play. So Southgate Rams trying to also buckle down here on defense. Polanco breaks his snap count. Has a new play here. And it's a handoff. Over right tackle. And it looks like it's uh, Moses Gonzalez, the ball carrier. Clock moving with just under, just over seven minutes, seven minutes and five seconds left in the game. 48-41, Garfield on top. It's been a shootout here on offense for both teams. Polanco dropping back to pass. Look out, it's pressured. And the ball is fumbled again. And let's see, does Garfield recover? Oh, Polanco, his receiver is not able to get open, so give credit to the secondary here from Southgate. As Polanco had no one to throw to, and then the pocket just collapsed on him, and then next thing you know, South, Southgate was all over him and forced, forced a fumble. But fortunately, the Bulldogs recover. Third and ten for the Bulldogs. 
or check that. They're going to, yes, fourth now. You have Angel Hidalgo back in punt formation. So the Bulldogs unable to capitalize on the fumble recovery. But there's Hidalgo. Takes his time. It's going to be an end over end. It's caught at about the 50 and then dropped. Good open field tackle there. Number three, give him credit for the Bulldogs. That was Elijah Gonzalez. So the ball picked up on the catch at the 45 yard line or caught on the fly by Southgate. And then the runner, the, the punt returner just dropped in his track. So good tackle there, first and 10 for Southgate from their own, let's call it 48 yard line. So both teams and showing good sides of their defense there. Arcia looks right, has a receiver. Oh, good sidestep there on the reception by Jenkins. And he's pushed upfield to about the 35 yard line. It's gonna be a first down. Now it's a question of the clock, clock management. 5.43 left in uh, the game, and they're going to move the, the down markers due to the first down. First and 10 for the Rams. There's a snap. Jenkins looking back to the coaching staff for the call. Arcia now calls, calls an audible, goes up to the line of scrimmage, and puts Sanchez behind him in the eye formation. Looks left. He's got a receiver. Oh, Finley. He had it, but he, out of the corner of his eye, he saw the cornerback coming up to make the tackle, and pass was incomplete. It's going to be second and 10 from the 35. Coming down to the crunch time here. It's nervous time here at Bulldog Stadium here at the campus of Garfield High School here in East Los Angeles, California. Eastern League matchup. It's huge. Both teams come in 1-0. and And Garfield now with their defense, calling on their defense to rise to the occasion. And Arcia. Oh, scampered through a big hole. It's like a broken play. And Arcia took advantage of that. Yes, he did. It was a die play to his running back, and he used it as a deception. And with the reduction in the, in the line there, the blocking, he found a hole and scampered up for the first down. Ball's going to be spotted at the, first, at the 25, first and 10. Southgate Rams on the drive here after the... Fielding a punt at their own, at the 45. Garfield 45, here they go now. Arcia, fake pass in the end zone. Oh, intercepted. Oh, picked off. There's Jalen Lawrence down the sideline. Still going, runs out of bounds at about the 35. Let's see if there's any flags on that field. Uh, we see one here at about the 15 yard line. But it looks like the, inter the interception should stand. And we'll see what they call here. We'll keep our eye on the white hat as he consults with his crew. Okay, so it looks like it may have been a, a penalty committed on the run back. But the interception will stand here for Garfield. Personal foul against Bulldogs on the run back. But more importantly, the interception by Lawrence near the end zone. We couldn't tell exactly where he was when he caught it, but the interception will be to his credit and it will give the Bulldogs possession of the ball on a takeaway due to that big turnover there. It's going to be Garfield's ball first and 10 from their own 10. 
Big, big series of downs here for the Bulldogs. P.J. Garcia is in at the eye back. Hand off to Garcia and stumbles forward. Maybe we'll get a yard or two. Uh, coming back in is going to be Moses Gonzalez, number 21. He's been the workhorse here on, on rushing yardage for the Bulldogs. So they give him credit for maybe a half a yard on the carry. So second, it's called a second and ten still. Uh, here comes Garcia. Check that. Gonzalez again, but he's going to be ridden down there by Rodriguez, number 10. He's having himself an outstanding game, Lucio Rodriguez, both on offense and a defense. He's 5'11", 200-pound junior. He's going to bring up third down, third and 10 for the Bulldogs, third and nine. Check that, third and nine. So Garfield now, the entire offensive unit looking to the sideline for the play. 48, 41, two minutes and 50 seconds. The clock is moving here, fourth quarter. So it's all about clock management, game management here. And now it's gonna be a timeout taken on the field by Garfield. We'll be back with more of East LA Sports Scene's High School Game of the Week, Garfield versus Southgate. It's crunch time, here we go now for the Garfield Bulldogs. Polanco, check that, there's a flag now. False start on the offense. And it was gonna be a passing play, and we could certainly read that in the play, but that was held up there due to a penalty against the Bulldogs. Big third down play here for Garfield. It's called a third and about 15 here. Polanco's dropping back. He wants to air it out. Oh, intercepted at the 40. Here comes Southgate on the run back. Uh, he's going to be pushed out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. A misdirection play there. Misread. Uh, Southgate will benefit from the turnover. So Polanco dropped back into his end zone, and the route was misread. Underrun by the receiver, and the safety all alone there, and he picked it off out of the air and just ran it back. Huge play there by Southgate on the turnover, putting themselves in great field position. 2.33 left in the contest. Now let's see what the Southgate Rams can do here inside the red zone at first First and 10 here. Arcia making sure. His team is set now. Coach Casagrande is going to call a timeout and talk things over. We'll be back in a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, we're back here now. Big, big series here for Southgate. They trail by seven. Arcia, and there's Finley on the reception, a quick look in. And coverage provided by the cornerback, but Finley using his size to his advantage. And they're gonna spot the ball at about, let's call it the 10 yard line now. Gain of, gain of about three on the, sh on the pass. Oh, fumble. Check that. The ball hit the ground first. Uh, Arcia wants to talk to his center there on that snap. 
So it's going to bring up third, and let's call it eight. And there's a timeout. We'll be back with more of East LA Sports Scene's High School Game of the Week. This is East LA Sports Scene. Now. Ready for the action. Back to the game. Here we go now. After the timeout, we're looking at about third, and let's call it eight for Southgate. Third down. And there's Arcia. Throws it over the middle. Touchdown. He found his receiver just on a post pattern. And that was Deontay Jenkins. And that comes at 151 left in the game. And now timeout will be taken by Southgate before the point after now. Let's see what Coach Casagrande decides uh, whether to tie or to go for the win. We'll be back in a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, we're back now. Coach Casagrande has decided he wants to go for a two-point conversion. He's got twin backs in there. Sanchez, Arcia is going to roll to the right. Throws it. And he's got his player. In there for the reception, that's Jenkins again. Deontay Jenkins puts the finishing touches on a great performance there with a touchdown and then for the PAT, two point conversion. And that will give Southgate a one point lead at 49 to 48. We'll be back with a kickoff in just a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, fasten your seatbelts. The game is not over yet, but it's 49-48. So Southgate has climbed the top of that mountain and is almost to the peak. But they're just trailing. The Garfield Bulldogs trailing by one point now. And let's see how this last 151 goes here for the game. And P.J. Garcia is going to pick it up. Trying to find some blockers, some running room. He's going to be hit. Dropped. Let's call it at the 25 yard line. It's going to be first and 10 for the Bulldogs. And now they're patting a two minute drill. It must be executed here to perfection. And let's see how Coach Hernandez sends his offensive unit out here to see about scoring a touchdown here with one minute and 42 seconds left in the game now. Adam Polanco still remains a quarterback. And he is in front of his running back, Moses Gonzalez. Defense! 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 There's a snap. Pass out in the flat. It's completed. And then run out of bounds is De La Torre, number eight. Check that. Uh, Hidalgo, number nine. Number nine on the reception for Garfield. Gain of about, let's call it six, second and four. Clock stopped at 138. Polanco breaks the snap count, looking over to the side. And here's the snap. Polanco, he's gonna run out of the pocket. He's gonna need to get to the sideline. And he's going to be near a first down. Let's check on the timeout situations left in the contest. But Polanco, again, his receiver is well covered. And it's going to be first down, so he had to keep it. And move forward just enough for the first down. Clock stop with 125. There's Polanco. Straight up the middle to Gonzalez. Broke a tackle. Still going. Trying to get out to the sideline here to stop the clock. It looks like there's going to be a face mask penalty called on that play. But give Moses Gonzalez lots of credit for that run. Lots of determination and lots of effort there shown by Moses Gonzalez. Oh, looks like they're going to rule... 
Oh, there's going to be a penalty. Marched off against Garfield Major. Oh, we thought it might have went the other way like a face mask. It looks like the hand got into the face mask area of the runner. But that's not to be. Defense! Clock stop with 109 left. So the Bulldogs have to try and recover from that penalty there. It would have been good field position there at about the 50-yard line. Okay, referee in the white hat, give me some instructions to his crew there as we're getting down into the most critical part of the game here. Lots on the line as they speak. Okay, we don't know what they're talking about. We can only surmise or only guess. Well, they stopped play there. They're having a conference right at about, let's call it the 40-yard uh, line. Now the extra, another referee has joined into the consultation. Very unusual to see the length of this consultation here at a high school game. We have not received any type of an indication from the crew chief in the white hat. He's giving some instructions to the side judge. Uh, it's maybe where they're going to spot the ball. Okay, adding some more drama and some suspense here to the game. He's ready to start the clock. First, and let's call it 12 for the Bulldogs. Oh, running play. Oh, my goodness. Stopped for no gain. P.J. Garcia hit nothing. Timeout call by Garfield uh, after that play. We'll be back in a moment. This East LA, this is East LA Sports Scenes High School Game of the Week. Okay, we're back after the timeout. Garfield Bulldogs. Polanco dropping back. He's got a receiver. And let's see, is that a completion or not? We can't tell from here. Okay, incomplete. Clock stop with 48 seconds left in the game. Third down for the Bulldogs. Third and 11. Again, time, their biggest enemy now is the clock is in complete control of the game here. Southgate 49, Gar Garfield 48. Big play here for the Bulldogs, Polanco. It's gonna drop back. Airs it out to the right again, again. It's, oh my goodness, incomplete. Pass intended for his wide receiver. And almost intercepted. Polanco checked off to his left and then went to his right for his deep receiver. And he was covered. It almost was nearly, nearly intercepted on the overthrow. It's going to bring up fourth and let's call it 11. 41 seconds left in the game. Bulldogs need to get up to, let's call it the 44-yard uh, line for a first down to maintain possession, keep the drive alive. Defense! 
to the Bulldogs now. Again, want to take time out to talk things over. Coach Hernandez brings this squad over for some final preparations here. Big, big game here. 49-48 in favor of Southgate. We'll be back in a moment. This is East LA Sports Scene. So Garfield needs to make a first down here or this game, for all intents and purposes, could be over due to the lack of time. But here is Garfield. They never say die. Polanco is going to try and air it out. And he is going to be dropped for a loss. And that was fourth and 11. Change of possession now will go to Southgate. And Southgate now is beginning to really feel the, the approach of a victory here on a hard fought game here at Garfield Bulldog Stadium. It's a question of the clock now. 33 seconds left in the game. A change of possession now favors Southgate. Looks like there will be a customary victory formation for Southgate. First and 10 at the Garfield 25 yard line. And let's see what Coach Casagran has instructed his offensive unit to do here. There's a snap. And there is the victory formation, and that should do it as Southgate, the Southgate Rams come into Garfield Bulldog Stadium and squeak out with a winning game here, 49 to 48. However, let's see what the officials are doing here in consultation. We do believe that is the end of the game. Three, two, one. There it is. That's what everybody was waiting for, for the clock to show zero, zero, zero. And uh, there is joy in Southgate tonight as the Southgate Rams come out with a one-point victory over the rival Garfield Bulldogs. But nonetheless, there you see the sportsmanship handshake as we emphasize that in high school sports. It was a well-played game. Uh, Competitive equity shown in all phases of the game at Division I. And now they get a chance to meet and greet each other with a pat on the back or handshake or at least a glance and say a game well played to the opponent. So that will do it for this edition of our play-by-play -play coverage of the Garfield Bulldogs taking on the Southgate Rams. And the final score in the field, Southgate 49, Garfield 48. We'll be back with our post-game wrap-up in just a moment. This is East L.A. Sports Scene. And here we are with our post-game show, and what an evening of high school football it was here tonight in East Los Angeles, California, the home of the Garfield Bulldogs, as they played host to the Southgate Rams, and it was a huge game on the line here. Both teams coming in 1-0 and in the Eastern League, and as the L.A. Times lead reporter Eric Seinheimer had declared in an article, this could be for the Eastern League title, and what a game it was. Both teams just squaring off like two heavyweight fighters just going down to the very last second of the fight. And this was a very, very good game to watch, both on offense and defense. But at halftime, it was 28-21, so we knew scoring was not an issue tonight for both teams. And in the second half, they were going neck and neck and down to the wire they came and trading blows and trading touchdowns until the final 30 seconds of the game, there was a two-point conversion that was made by Southgate that gave them the final 49 points, just one point ahead of the Garfield Bulldogs at 48. So so you got to watch East L.A. Sports Scene's high school game of the week here, the Garfield versus Southgate game. It could be going into one of the archives of our productions here uh, for high school uh, sports here in East Los Angeles for East L.A. Sports Scene's production. So, so that will do it for this edition of East L.A. Sports Scene's high school game of the week as we close out and give credits to our production team of Rico Cabrera Jr. taking all of the video tonight and our two interns producing and helping here with our production, uh, frankly Robles for our highlights and Lucy Alvarado for our production assistant and finally yours truly Rico Cabrera doing the play-by-play -play call here on the game. So until we're together again on our next show, on our next game, stay tuned and watch us on East L.A. Sports Scene com where you will see all of our games into the 2017 season so take care and we will see you soon